quiet Mishawaka neighborhood is on edge after a teenage girl says a man flashed her and then told her to get in his truck. Now, police need your help to find the suspect. WSBT's Annie Chang is live at the corner of Smith and Lincoln Way. Annie, the incident happened there yesterday at about 2.30. Right, Rick. Police say the girl was standing on this corner waiting for the city bus in the middle of the day. Now, she says she was listening to music on her headphones when a man reportedly flashed her, asked her to come into his truck. That's when she ran away, called her mom, and then called police. It took probably about five minutes to get her to calm down. The girl's mother, Sherry, did not want to show her face on camera, but she told WSBT her daughter was so distraught she could barely tell her what had happened. I kept having to tell her to calm down, and I walked outside of my work so I could talk to her, and I just kept telling her she needs to calm down because I couldn't understand her. The 15-year-old told police she was waiting for the city bus to go to Mishawaka High School, where she takes night classes. Police say the suspect is a white man in his 30s or 40s with black facial hair, driving a dark gold Ford Ranger truck. Kayla Wright lives just a block away from the intersection. She says as a mom of two little girls, she's rethinking the safety of their neighborhood. This is just something you hear on the news, but not in your neighborhood, you know, right, literally right down the corner. And police want to keep incidents like these out of the neighborhoods. So they're asking for your help. With Lincolnway being a busy street, you know, that area is busy, highly traveled. Um, there had to be somebody that witnessed this here. We urge you to come forward and contact our police department. And that description again, a white man in his 30s or 40s, black facial hair. Police are also looking for the car he's driving, a dark gold or tan Ford Ranger pickup truck, a late 90s model. Now, if you have any information, do reach out to the Mishawaka Detectives Bureau. That contact information is on our website right now, WSBT.com. Rick. You know, Annie, a lot of kids walking to and from school in Mishawaka around that area. Are the schools aware of this? Well, that's a good question. I talked to the school city of Mishawaka superintendent. He did not know about the incident, but he did reach out to Mishawaka High School's principal today and let him know what happened. Annie Chang live in Mishawaka tonight for us. Annie, thanks.